Ouija boards have long remained one of the most controversial children's toys in existence, with thousands of concerned parents banning them from the home and even calling for their removal from stores. Yet, the strange and mysterious spirit board continues to be sold, captivating the minds of people everywhere, and quite possibly even their souls. Number 11. Zozo's at the Door A YouTuber named G Fuel Review and two of his friends are using a Ouija board when they suddenly hear a strange noise. What? No. No. And then, a short while later, this happens. <gasps> oh my no. god. No. Guys, this is real. I thought it was fake. No. no. no, no, no. The three of them rip open the door to the bathroom and find no one inside. When they turn around, they see the pointer neatly centered on the Ouija board, despite the fact that it was clearly knocked off the board when they were getting up. Sure, nobody's Get this off. Get it off. And move it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't leave that alone. Come on. Alright, just to prove to you guys, nobody is here. This There's is nobody the in our house. They sit down and begin playing again. Soon, the spirit reveals itself to be Zozo. It starts to spell out 666 and the camera runs out of battery. They get a new camera and one of them finds fresh scratch marks on their back. Take a picture was, right now. Was this already Forget there? the video. Take a picture right now. Yeah, that, yeah, that was already there. But that's but fresh. Are you kidding me? Take a me? picture right now. Many people have pointed out that this could have gone wrong because they never properly ended the ceremony by pointing over goodbye. Number 10. You did that. A group of girls are recording their Ouija experience in hopes of catching something interesting, but it doesn't seem to be going very well. This is ridiculous. I'm so done. Yeah, my arm Just, hurts. Guys. There's no point. Nothing's gonna happen. Just when they are about to give up, however, something on the other side apparently takes notice. Oh, put your Bunch of fake stuff. They begin to argue and blame each other for moving the pointer. Then they become freaked out when they realize that this is no joke. The bravest one in the group asks the spirit for its name. I told you, Jay. I told you it wasn't me. Oh. oh. John, it replies. He is 36 years old. They ask John how he lost his life. G-U-N, John spells. He also reveals that it happened in his home. One of the friends becomes certain that this is a joke, and she comes up with a plan to prove it. To say something then. Say, boo. Boo. <laughs> Difficult girls. Boo. Something crashes behind them as John sarcastically spells out B-O-O. -O. Then, when one of the girls says he can't hurt them, he launches the pointer straight into her foot and the video ends. Number 9. Mellow Bird's Board Ouija boards are known to cause trouble all of the time, and just having one in your house can cause strange disturbances to happen. As this video demonstrates, a YouTuber named Mellowbird is recording a video in his kitchen. He leaves the room to do something for just one second and then quickly comes back to grab his camera and go into the living room. He doesn't even make it past the doorway before he sees that his Ouija board is out of its box and doing something that's absolutely crazy. The Ouija board drops so quickly that you might not see it at first. Ooh. Look closely and you'll see how it starts off mysteriously floating in the middle of the room, almost touching the ceiling, and then it drops straight to the floor. As Mellow Bird is left to ponder the situation, a tiny orb floats down from the doorway. You can see it best when it moves across the black television screen. Mellow Bird stands around for a bit and then challenges the spirit to do something else to prove their existence, but nothing happens. It appears that he's all alone again, or at least for now. Number 8. Samantha Stone is not alone. 
This video comes from a YouTuber named Samantha Stone who claims to have been targeted by strange occurrences after researching conspiracy theories about aliens and ghosts. In this video, she and a friend are experimenting with a Ouija board when suddenly something from another realm apparently starts to experiment with them instead. They start off by asking some basic questions to the spirit, but soon they have its full attention and they don't have to touch the pointer at all. Samantha's friend quickly shows that they are not using any strings to make this video. It's like nothing. It's going all the way around it. If this pointer is real, then the ghost seems less interested communicating with them, as opposed to moving the pointer in strange and unpredictable ways. At one point, it looks like the pointer is about to levitate. Still, the spirit doesn't give them much information about who it is or what it wants. Oh, and if you think they are using magnets underneath the board, I thought the same thing at first, but then I realized that the board is on the ground. There's just no way. Number 7. Strange Noises A YouTuber named Austin Shippy is using the Ouija board with a friend. They apparently make contact, but it's not necessarily the spirit's answers that make this video haunting, but rather the strange sounds that kept coming from the background. It seems like every time they ask a question, something weird happens in the background. Perhaps the weirdest moment of all comes at the very end of the video, when they are ready to leave. Thank you very much for talking to us. Goodbye. There is no reason for the pointer to squeak like that. They are on a smooth surface and are not pushing down hard at all. Number 6. Orbs Across Sam This rare video was taken about a year ago, during the middle of a seance. The group is moving the pointer in a circle to clear the board when suddenly the camera woman asks, Can you manifest into an orb near Sam? There is a bit of an accent, but her exact words are, Can you manifest into an orb near Sam? Sure enough, a tiny ball of white light darts past the group shortly after. It could be editing, it could be a coincidence, or it could be a very polite and respectful ghost who is doing exactly as they were told. Number 5. The Possession of Carmella this video does not include a haunted Ouija board per se, but a woman named Carmela as she is being tormented by spirits unleashed from a Ouija board. Now she is being rushed to the hospital as she says strange and evil things, her face twisting as tightly as the muscles will allow. When the emergency medical technicians tell her to wake up, she sits up and an evil spirit appears to speak through her. Carmela lets her head drop back and begins to thrash back and forth while the spirit that's inside of her continues to say cryptic messages. The video is believed to come from Spain, but not much else is known. I highly doubt that this has been staged, because this looks like a real medical emergency, so she is probably either suffering from a delusion, or she really was ravaged by spirits. They say that you can become possessed if you do not properly banish the ghosts at the end of the Ouija board summoning, so maybe that's what happened to poor Carmela. Number 4. The Flying Pointer this video was recorded more than five years ago. It shows the pointer moving around the Ouija board on its own at first, but then it somehow levitates and begins flying away. There's a good chance that this is CGI. At least, that's the only explanation that I can think of besides actual spirits. Number 3. Playground Possessions a girl named Jessie and her friend decide to try and summon spirits at a playground at 3 in the morning. 
The video starts off very lighthearted as Jesse plays on the monkey bars and her friend makes jokes, but soon things get much more serious. They've just barely started when they hear a strange noise and whip around. Did you hear that? Yeah. They shine their flashlights on the playground tubes, but don't see anything. The two friends sit back down and start again. It isn't long before they've made contact. Is there anyone here that would like to contact us? Are you doing that? No, are you? No. The spirit identifies itself only as D and refuses to say its real name at first, but then says that it is the infamous demon, Mama. Then it says that there are three of them, all watching. Now strange noises are happening all around them. So your name's not Mama. Oh my god! Didn't you hear that? No. Mama. Apparently, their idea of summoning harmless children at a playground is turning out to be more serious than they thought. Mama starts to recite the alphabet backwards and then starts to count down the numbers, which Jesse's friend says is a way for the demon to get out of the board. Before they get a chance to move the pointer over goodbye, Sammy drops to the ground. This is what the camera records. <laughs> oh, holy <laughs> shit, the f <laughs> Jesse just got possessed. Are you kidding? You were laughing like really weird and Are you serious? Yeah. Like I don't even remember like playing the Ouija board. She wakes up with no recollection of what happened. Hopefully, if this video is real, the demon left her alone after that, though we'll never know for sure. It could still be inside of her, waiting for the right moment to reveal itself again. Number 2. Jake Goes to the Asylum This video comes on day 208 of Jake Paul's vlogging marathon. He is going to an abandoned asylum with a Ouija board. He's gone there once before and spoke to a ghost named Eric. This time, they want to go to an area of the asylum that they believe might be holding Eric's files. If there are any files for Eric, then it will help them verify that their last experience was real. While searching for evidence of Eric's existence, they stumble upon an old brick section of the asylum that feels extra foreboding. This must be the area where the most serious patients were kept. They start to have technical difficulties almost straight away. I got well. Yo, did my light just... <gasps> oh! My light's flickering, my light's flickering. Stop, 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 stop. I'm not touching. <gasps> oh my god, oh. it's here. <laughs> Yo! Finally, they settle on a spot and start summoning. Jake plays a joke and pretends to be possessed, but soon snaps out of it. They go on to summon Zozo. And that's when things get really bizarre. Zozo begins counting down numbers and says, If you don't leave without finishing the sentence, Paul asks Zozo if he can look through the pointer, and Zozo denies him permission. He grants it to his friend, however, and this is what he sees. What? You just say bye. Why? We should just say bye, bro. Why? He bursts into tears, unable to describe the horrors that he witnessed by looking through the pointer. Later, he would admit that he saw a strange face looking back at him. Before we get to number one, if you've ever been curious as to what I look like in real life, then follow me on Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT with underscores instead of spaces. I also have a Twitter at YT underscore chills where I post video updates. I'd really appreciate it if you followed me and feel free to send me a DM if you have any questions or suggestions. If you'd like to see more of these videos in the future, then hit that subscribe button because I upload a new video every Thursday. Number 1. Original Footage This video is, admittedly, hard to keep up with. The video is original footage from 1999 that was sent to a random station or address with no further information included. The quality is understandably low and glitches out several times. A general summary is that there's a group of what appears to be several teens drinking, chatting and playing games. One of the games that gets pulled out is the Ouija board. Things are fine at first and after playing with the board, a few clips pass and the doorbell rings. One boy, as well as the camera person, go to check the door and see no one is there. At first it seems like a case of ding-dong ditch, 
but as they're standing at the front door, the bell begins to ring over and over again. The lights flicker as well, and the camera glitches severely. After the terrifying incident, the group comes together to discuss what happened. Loud knocks can be heard from above or somewhere in the distance. The group travels through the house in several chopped up clips trying to locate the noise, but every time they're in one location, the noise can be heard in a different location. Audience, whoever you are watching this, right now, I'm pretty much believing this house is haunted and I'm pretty much believing we're experiencing it. Yeah, a ghost situation. The group even attempts to climb into the attic before the doorbell begins ringing again. Hey man, again, see, how the f is that happening? Once they're all inside, the doorbell ringing and knocking begins again. Another sound can be heard which sounds like a scratching or clicking. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe because I upload a new video every Thursday. Or if you're still not convinced, here are some of my other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy!